All right, thanks for tapping in with me today. I got a video you don't want to miss. We're going to cover how you can make money in real estate, and we're not just talking about current homeowners or traditional investors. We're going to also take a look at first time buyers and how you can put yourself in a great position out of the gate. We're going to talk about current homeowners with lines, home equity line of credit or equity that you're sitting on in your home that can use to create a side hustle or additional revenue or income for you and your family. What to look for, what the sweet spot is when uh, identifying a home for renters. We're going to look at some of the tools that I myself use today when finding investment properties for my clients. If you have any questions or you want to dive deeper into this subject matter, feel free to give me a call. John Nichols with Coldwell Banker, 720-877-1940. And let's get started. So first time buyers, typically, um, like I said, we're looking at three bedrooms. So here's an example of just uh, an apartment complex that's in my area. And we're gonna kind of use these numbers as the baseline. So in this scenario, three bedroom, two bath, uh, 1200 square feet, they're charging $2,896. So for a first time buyer, if you're currently renting and you have roommates, you and all of your roommates are paying rent. Well, where is that rent money going? Is it paying down your current mortgage? Are you also earning equity? Typically the answer to those questions are no. So in this scenario, you're paying 2,800 a month and keep in mind even here, this is at a reduced rate. So it's a special promotion this complex is running. So 2,800, let's call it 2,900 a month. As a first time buyer, if you can qualify for a home, a condo, a town home, whatever it may be that has three bedrooms and you already have roommates, why not have your roommates move in with you? Now, your roommates and yourself are paying, once again, this 2900 as a sweet spot, are paying this mortgage and you are actually benefiting because you're paying down your mortgage. You're also on, um, gaining equity during this process, right? So versus $2,900 a month, just basically going down the garbage you're never gonna see again, it's an opportunity for you to really start your rental portfolio, right? You're renting out two rooms to, to your friends who were your roommates anyway. Um, you know, you're familiar, you're comfortable with them. And at the end of the day, you truly are making a profit. You're now a homeowner, you're paying down your mortgage, you're gaining equity. And this property can help you get the next one, get the next next upgrade, whether there's an opportunity where you can keep this one and rent it out entirely and you move into a single family home or, you know, equity has increased over X amount of years. You're now selling this home to move into that single family home. So for first time buyers, there are plenty of options and opportunity Sometimes we just don't know what questions to ask or where we should look in this scenario to really make it work. But this is just like I said, this is the baseline. We're going to focus on three bed, two baths today and uh, really see how we can make it work. All right now, moving on to current homeowners. So current homeowners, you have equity, right? A lot of us are sitting on equity right now. So it's like, well, how can I make money with that equity? Well, essentially what you can do is borrow against your current home, something that's like a HELOC, right? You borrow against your current home's equity, you use that HELOC money as down payment money for a rental property or an investment property um, that may help you increase your cash flow, right? So in this scenario, we're gonna look at like say a down payment of about $100,000, which would be uh, 25% of 400,000. And we're really gonna use those numbers to see if it makes sense to get a rental property that's a three bedroom. And the goal is for us to beat that $2,900 a month we just seen with the apartment complex. Now, if my mortgage is lower than that $2,900 a month, then each month I'm netting a profit, right? Now, yes, there's gonna be maintenance and things like that, but then there's also tax write-off benefits that come along with that scenario, right? So here's a tool that we all have access to, it's Redfin, and this is a great way really 
just to get started, right? So three bedroom, two baths is a feature. Based on having 100,000 down, keep in mind this 100,000 is coming out of your home equity. Yes, there's a cost associated with borrowing that 100,000, and it's going to be different for each person based on rates and things of that sort. So that's where you need to speak with the lender to figure out what that exact number is. Because what we want to do is we want to include that number into your margins, right? To make sure that you're coming out ahead or you're breaking even, everyone has a different scenario. So whatever your goal is there. So based on that 100,000, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter, let's say a max purchase price of 430,000. And the reason why I'm doing 430 is because I know the environment we're in right now, there's sellers doing seller concessions, which is a credit for the buyer to be used towards closing costs, things like that. There's also the opportunity for us to negotiate the price down from that 430 to 400, right? So we're going to go in at four, 430,000. We're looking at three beds, two baths. And we're really just getting an idea of what, what's out there on the market. So this area of the map really covers like that east area, you know, primarily Aurora. Green Valley's kind of left out here. You can see the, the funky lines there and what's going on. But let's take a look at some of these properties and see what the opportunity is for us to beat that 2900. Right. So here is a four bedroom, three bath. So being that this is a four bedroom, there's actually more potential, right? Because when someone's renting, they're renting based on the amount of bedrooms. You know, obviously square footage comes into play too, but you know, different people have different preferences. So typically what you would see is the four bedroom will bring in more rent monthly than the three bedroom. Um, also with that 2,900, let's call that the High end average number, I would think if we play between 2,500 and 2,900 for the most part in Aurora or Denver, um, that's what people are paying for rent right now. So what we do here is on Redfin, we go down and we start to play with some of these numbers, right? So let's change this to 20%, right? A lot of these numbers are estimated. So the HOA is shown as $132 a month. Property tax is 126. Homeowners insurance is about 100, 101. So in this scenario, this is a four bedroom home with 20% down. Your monthly mortgage, and keep in mind these are estimates, your monthly mortgage is 2,600. So if I'm looking at that 26 compared to that 29, you know, you're roughly 300, you know, $250 net profit right at the gate when a property um, the first property we came across here with a down payment of 100,000, right? Now, once again, this is a four bedroom, so that number could be a little bit higher. Um, now, we're not down to the 2,500, which would be the low end for a three bedroom. However, you know, when we're looking at it compared to that apartment complex, uh, we are coming out ahead. So let's go back, take a look at another one. And this is really how we find the opportunities of if doing the HELOC, if getting involved in the investment property uh, truly makes sense. Now, this one here is at 335. Um, let's see, based on the location, we're going to say that this one, oh, excuse me. We're going to say that this one is um, 2,500 a month for a three bedroom. Now, out of the gate, I could see this first picture, you know, once again, we're looking at maintenance and stuff as we're looking at these homes. There looks like there's going to be some repair work in the driveway. Um, looks like there's a pretty good drop off there from the garage to the driveway. Front yard landscaping is probably going to have to be considered as part of the budget. Decent sized backyard. So not too bad on the exterior inside. Let's see, carpet needs to be replaced. These are things that when you're looking at these homes, you're basically calculating, well, how much am I going to have to add, um, you know, to, to the budget, right? Whether it's going to be paint, carpet, 
updating appliances, things of that sort are all going to be factors. Looks like this kitchen may be in for a redo. So <clears throat> from my perspective, this unit is not quite moving ready. There's gonna be some work that we have to do in order to, yeah, there's gonna be a good amount of work we have to do on this one in order to make it move in ready. Now, again, everyone's budget's differently, different. Someone, you know, may know someone who's really good at drywalling. They may be able to go in and do these repairs themselves. There's different ways that you can cut some of that uh, cost out. So this one, it needs a little bit of work, but once again, we're gonna go take a look at the numbers. So 20% down is 67,000. It's all based on the current asking price. Um, oh, the one thing we don't have here, what's the interest rate? Let's go here. Oh, 7%, there we go. Yeah, so 7%, so we're looking at the high end as well for interest rates, so that's fine. Um, so with this one, 20% down, 67,000, you're looking at 2,000 a month, right? So now this one needs a bit, you know, a little bit of remodels, things like that. There's no HOA. If we're looking at this straight numbers wise and you did the upgrade and a minimum of 2,500 in this scenario, you're coming out 500 a month. But really what you're doing with that 500 is you're essentially paying yourself for the business back for the upgrades you had to do, right? So there may be a time frame before you actually start to see the profit on this one. However, uh, if done correctly and moving in the right direction, we're pushing, you know, 2,500 plus. Once again, we're beating the, the 2,900 that the three bedroom um, apartment, you know, was charging, right? So for a first time buyer, hey, this may be an option. You live in it while you upgrade it. And that's how you're going to start making money on something like this. Take a look at one more. And basically what I'm just showing you is that, you know, the potential is out there. It's just a matter of finding the right home that fits your need, what you're looking for and what you want to do. All right, so let's see. Okay, so here's one. This one looks like it's in better condition, maybe move in ready. Um, we're looking at 355, three bedroom, two bath, 1,400 square feet. So obviously someone's currently living in this one. That floor looks like it can be luxury vinyl. We have towel there with the floor. If it's wood or luxury vinyl, we know that's gonna be more durable and last a little bit longer than carpet. So that's a positive. The kitchens it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Now, remember, this is an investment property. So you're not necessarily living there, right? So when it comes to like colors and cabinets and things of that sort, they kind of move down the priority list. And what you're really looking for is that eyeball test of it being moving ready for, for someone. So this one looks like decent shape from the pictures. We have a little wear and tear here. That's minor. So there may not be too much cost um, as far as getting this one ready to move in. Looks like um, that may be a basement area. So, so definitely some potential there. Washer and dryer. Let's see, we have a side yard. Okay, so a, a small backyard here behind that fence, which opens up the door for someone who has pets, things like that. So now you're increasing um, your customer base when it comes down to this. And this is a townhome. So we do have a wall attached, no garage. So now let's take a look at the numbers. So again, 20% down, 71,000. And keep in mind, we took out 100,000 out of the HELOC. Um, Priced at 355, 30 year fixed, 7% interest. Speaking to a loan officer, you know, this number here with my team is what we focus on trying to get down. And we're usually pretty successful with that um, with our clients. So this is another one three bedroom, two bath. Yep, three bedroom, two bath coming in at 2,500. So this one's coming in right on the nose, right? So depending on the area, if we're on the low end of the three bedroom, the mortgage is 2,500, you're charging 2,500, you're breaking even. 
Um, you know, if it's in an area where maybe you can get 26, 27, 28, you're now coming out ahead, right? So that's the that's a scenario you're looking for. The other thing that we're planning on as well is equity. And this is something that we do forget. So typically, let's see, look at property history. This doesn't go back. Oh, here we go, down here. All right. So when I talk about equity and I talk about future growth, this is what I mean. Like in real estate, we really only see the number go up, right? Like there may be, this is coming in 2009. So this was probably after the crash. Someone got a smoking deal at 80,000, right? But now, you know, jump to 129, then up to 250. Now we're at 266, right? So there's definitely opportunity in real estate. And as long as population growth continues, we can't build fast enough. This number here will consistently increase. Yes, we're going to have down periods where something whack happens, 2008. Um, this time frame we're in now, we're kind of down. So that's why it's another great buying opportunity. And when it comes to interest rates, the interest rate, as you can see, is calculated into the overall number, right? So if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. At 7%, this deal still makes sense. However, if interest rates were to be at 9%, right? Now you're looking at 28.95. This deal may not make sense at 9% because we're so far above the minimum amount that we would charge for rent in this scenario. Now, the benefit of buying today at seven, let's say worst case scenario, you're breaking even at seven, exactly at 25. And let's say things look good in the future um, with the rates and things of that sort. Let's say the rates drop down to 5%, you have the opportunity to refinance. Now you're down at 21, right? So a $400 difference per month off a 2% drop. And this is, once again, when you hear agents say, well, buy now, adjust the rate later, the benefit of that is if you buy now at 7%, you know your rate's not going to go up. It's at 7%, you're at 2,500. If rates jump to 9%, you already have the property you want. It's already being rented. You already know what your margins are. You're good. Rates at 9%, oh, well. But on the positive side, if we drop to 5%, guess what? You may look at refinancing. Now you're at 21. Guess what? You're still charging 25 to 2,800 a month, right? So you're still seeing a net profit. So at the end of the day, this is really, you know, how you make money in real estate, working with a team that knows what to look for, understands what to look for, really aligns what's going on in the market with your goals. Let's put them together. Let's use some of that equity for our current homeowners start, you know, get you a side hustle, some side income, additional income, uh, tax benefits, things of that sort for first time buyers. Hey, it's still possible at 355. If you qualify for this home, you're renting out two of your two rooms to, to good friends, things of that sort. You know, they're paying down your mortgage, you're earning equity, you're now in the real estate game, right? And what real estate's about is it's occupation of space. And across the world, no matter where you are, people are occupying space. And that's what makes real estate a great bet. So if you got more questions, I can talk about this for hours. Give me a call, shoot me a message. More than happy to have a conversation. Make sure I get you pointed in the right direction. Um, I work with a great team. We find great deals for our clients. Obviously, we not only focus on investment properties. This is just an avenue where it's Today's environment, it's more common because homeowners have so much equity that they're sitting on. And what we want to do is put that equity in position where it's making money for you. Obviously, we do work with uh, individuals who need to sell homes. Uh, we need to work with traditional buying scenarios, things of that sort. So regarding real estate, give me a call. More than happy to help you out. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Have a great day.